Hello, my name is Nafia Sikter, and I became really interested in a career in aesthetics because I feel um, that it has power to transform people's um, skin, health, and lives. Um, from very young age, I've always um, was attracted to skincare, um, taking good care of yourself, your health, your well-being, and um, skincare is a big part of it. Um, I've always watched people's confident bloom when they felt good about their skin, um, and I wanted to be a part of that journey. And aesthetics goes way beyond just the surface level beauty. I feel like there's a lot of science behind it. Um, it's the largest skin of our body and being in aesthetic field it gives you all the tools you need to learn how to take good care of your skin how skin works how skin behaves skin diseases and how to protect skin and with all these knowledge um, the science the creativity the compassion it allows me to truly understand my clients unique needs um, and also help them achieve their best health. Um, that is the main reason, and it's not just for my clients. Um, it's not just the career. It's also taking having more knowledge to take care of me and my family as well. Um, diversity. Diversity is another interesting thing. Uh, for the longest time in the skincare world or in the aesthetic world, um, certain groups of population has always been um, neglected, disregarded. Um, so me being from one of those groups, I feel that we finally have some knowledge um, to just not just myself, but a lot of other um, uh, groups of people, um, Hispanic Americans, African Americans, Asian Americans, uh, we all have uh, different experiences um, regarding skincare, and we always felt left out. But for first time, being knowledgeable and being in the field uh, gives me courage to learn about others and have the opportunity, give the opportunity to others to learn about me. Uh, it creates an environment where everyone's beauty is celebrated um, everyone's um, beauty there's pro and con and we learn from each other and celebrate each other so it's a really um it it gives people it gives all of us empowerment that we're not alone um we all have skin issue we all have whether whatever uh group you belong to we all have acne we all have anti anti-aging we're all growing old we will all deal with anti-aging issues so it's almost like whether you belong into whichever ethnicity you belong in at the end of the day we're all fighting the same battle which is anti-aging acne rosacea uh, various different skin disease skin cancer you know so at the end of the day, we all feel each other's pain and we feel this this comfort to know each other and help each other. So it's really important to have that diversity. Um, and the other thing is, how do I see myself or in the aesthetic industry as a platform for diversity and inclusion? Um, and this will definitely make a huge impact. Um, and I'm only speaking from for myself here. I see the aesthetic industry as a powerful stage um, for celebrating diversity and um, practicing inclusion. And as estheticians, you know, I will be uh, helping people, not just people who look like me, but many different groups of people and um, their skin type. Um, their tone, advocating for, you know, the type of skincare they should uh, pursue. Um, it obviously creates a space where um, it will force me to learn about others, and which is a good thing because we live in a melting pot. So 
It's not just one group of people whose, um, you know, needs are met. It's everyone's need. Um, and I have to also make sure every client feels valued and understood and um, they get the right um, information uh, regarding to their skin. Um, and also, I'm committed to creating a skincare experience that is vibrant and as people um, coming from and catering to everyone's need. Um, and also, there are a lot of disbeliefs, like a lot of people tend to have even now with all the information technology we have. Um, certain groups of people believe like, oh, I don't really need to wear sunscreen uh, because I am Fitzpatrick. Uh, level five or six. So I don't need that. But this is just simply not true. I feel like there's just a lot of misconception going on. And um, that's why I feel like I can help even though I don't belong in uh, Fitzpatrick five or six, but I have that knowledge and anyone who belongs in that category, I can advise them how to take care of their skin, not only just to look pretty, but also um, for their health, for their longevity, uh, so they can be here longer for their friends and family, you know, and so I am equipped with not only information regarding my own type, but everyone's, and that makes me feel really powerful, so that's how I feel um, this platform, this industry will help me, um, you know, help me with every group of people I come come across with and practice inclusion. And so that's basically um, how I feel. I have been really, really blessed to be a part of this um, and be chosen to um, practice this. And I, I just couldn't be any happier. And I hope I um, get to continue and practice for years to come and help as many people as I can. That's my goal in life. So thank you so much for listening to me. And um, I go to St. Paul College um, and they have a great esthetician program. And I was very happy to be selected uh, to be an advanced um, esthetician student. Uh, thank you so much for hearing my story.